something. Making sure hospital patients like Jorge Rico get the right medicine is critical. Thank you. He's being treated for leukemia at UCSF, the University of California, San Francisco Medical Center. I'm taking about five pills in the morning and a couple in the afternoon. How Jorge gets his pills offers a window into the ever-changing world of healthcare and how technology can eliminate critical life or death errors. His medicine came from the hospital's so-called robotic pharmacy. A machine instead of humans fills the prescriptions. It plucks pills one by one and packages them. Dr. Josh Adler says it's been a game changer in the field of medicine. The robot gives a huge amount of confidence because we know that, that the Pharmacists and pharmacy technicians are, are incredibly skilled people, but they're humans and they will occasionally make mistakes. Errors, in fact, are all too common. The Institute of Medicine found that on average, there's at least one medication error per hospital patient per day. That means that no one is immune to an error. But it also notes that error rates vary widely across facilities. CNN first covered this emerging trend of robotic pharmacies nearly two years ago. Since it made its debut here in 2011, UCSF has added additional safeguards, like barcoding the medicine, right up to the point that it's administered to the patient. It takes the human element out of picking a drug off a shelf and sending it back to the, to the floor where the patient is, where even if you got that right 99% of the time, you know, we give something like 3 million doses of drug in three months here. So even a 1% error rate is, is far too high. It might sound like a job killer, but the hospital says no. Instead, administrators say they can better leverage pharmacists' skills by allowing them to spend more time in the hospital focusing on drug therapies. Nationwide, though, the robots still are not widespread. The reason? Cost. UCSF paid $7 million for its system. As the price comes down, look for them to eventually become standard. I think this is the way that our profession is moving. Automation is going to be part of our career. Which in turn could save lives from human mistakes and boost confidence in the nation's hospitals. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.